The boys, you've been here for about a, a month now, um, or maybe five or six weeks, halfway through your stay at Yatahugdu. What have you made of it so far? Uh, yeah, it's been a good experience. Um, obviously, training full time, uh, getting used to training every day and keeping fit. Um, uh, I think you know, staying staying here has allowed me to uh, focus on my football and focus on myself physically. Uh, with the gym programs that they provide and the gym area that that's given, uh, and the access to, to many of the pitches just allows me to focus on myself really. It's a very unusual club, isn't it? You're isolated out in the middle of nowhere, basically. Yeah. Uh, what are the advantages of that and what are the disadvantages would you say so, far? Uh, so obviously there's not much to do where we are which is it's a bad thing so obviously you get bored and that but it's also a good thing there's not many distractions and uh keeps you pretty focused on just just doing football really and the the days are pretty filled though aren't they with it's not just a single training session and done normally no we uh we have double sessions tuesdays and thursdays uh, Mondays, uh, single sessions to uh, obviously allow us to recover from the game on Saturday and obviously Friday as well. What else do you do? What, I know the, the physios that they've got here, the strength and conditioning coaches, they seem to do a lot of extra stuff with you, uh, yoga and things like that? Or uh, Yeah, our sessions we do yoga on a, on a Friday, uh, just to stretch, stretch the legs and you know mobilise our bodies uh, before the game on Saturday. And what have you made of the standard of football? How would you compare it to home? What's, is, it, is it totally different or is it similar to what you've experienced? So now you've, you've both played some men's non-league football. Yeah. Um, it's got it's good intensity and obviously it's a men's, men's league. Um, I'd probably uh, compare it to sort of, I don't know, maybe like tier six, five yeah. of English football. So like non-league, but quite high non-league, not like dog and duck. Yeah. yeah. A lot of young players playing here, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's it been like having so many English lads? There's a lot of players who've come out like you have and have stayed out for, for years. What does, it's, how does that help you? It's kind of, it's kind of allowed us to like, uh, have that type of guidance to, uh, to, to obviously help us with, with certain situations. So it's, uh, it's been an advantage so far, yeah. And what would you say to anyone in your positions that, uh, like who are scholars at the moment, maybe going into their second year, if they don't get a pro contract at their club, what would, you, what would your advice to them be about the Sweden opportunity? It's, uh, it's definitely something that they should think about doing. Um, it's a really good experience and yeah, even though it is good, it's also hard. It tests you mentally, like off the pitch, making your own food and dealing with sort of getting bored in a way that independent lifestyle yeah, yeah it, it kind of helps you to mature a little bit so you know living by yourself cleaning the house and, and doing these little things to, to, to help you kind of mature really so yeah